In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a cool shot effect for your montage in After Effects without using any plugins. As you can see, I've got the simple clip imported, so I'm going to scroll through until I find the frame where we first see the bullet. So this is the frame for me. I'm going to select the video layer and press asterisk on the keyboard to place a marker. That's why I'll know that I'll be applying effects to this side of the clip. Then I'm going to create a new adjustment layer by right click new adjustment layer. And let's go to effects and presets, search for transform. This will be the first effect we'll use. Then I'm going to go to the marker point and create a keyframe for scale by clicking on the stopwatch. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline and set scale to 150. Then I'm going to go two frames back by pressing page up twice and set scale back to 100. Then I'm going to go back to the marker point and from here move 10 frames forward by holding shift and pressing page down once to move 10 frames at a time and set scale back to 100. This will give us a simple zoom in and a zoom out effect at the point of our kill. Now I'm going to uncheck use composition shutter angle and set shutter angle to 360. That'll give us a good amount of motion blur. You can see the difference in the preview. Now let's create a flash effect by adding exposure to our adjustment layer. And we're going to do the same thing as before. Go to the marker point, increase exposure to 3 and create a keyframe on it. Then go back two frames, set it back to zero, and then go back to the end scale keyframe and set exposure back to zero. Now let's add a subtle blur to the scene. We're going to search for Gaussian blur and add this to the adjustment layer and again do the same thing at the point of the marker. Increase blurriness to 15 and create a keyframe. Go back two frames, set it to zero, go to the end keyframe and it'll set it to zero. Now we have three simple effects combined that look really cool together. Then I'm going to work on color correction. For that I'm going to search for curves and add this to the adjustment layer. Go to create a simple S curve to bring up contrast. Then go to red channel, decrease it slightly. Go to green channel, also decrease it slightly. Then go to go to blue channel and increase it by a touch to give our scene a nice blue tinted look. Which I personally really like. Then I'm going to search for CC vignette to darken out the edges of the scene. So we can better focus on the gameplay and set it amount to 200. And one last effect I'm going to add is glow, the good old stylized glow. I'm going to decrease the glow threshold to 20%. That'll be too bright as you can see, so I'm going to set glow intensity to 0.2. It will be really subtle, but overall do a great job at brightening up the scene. And that is pretty much it. We can go ahead and preview the final work. As you can see, just like this, we've been able to create an awesome short effect for your montage without using any plugins inside of After Effects. If you like this tutorial and learned something new and want to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.